Hi, I'm Rhett. I'm a physics blogger at Wired, and I have a book, Angry Birds Furious Forces. Today, I'm going to show you an experiment from the book with my helper. Ta da! What's your name? Ellie. Ellie. Okay, so what we have here is something that you can do at home and try it out. So we have uh, two plastic knives, these are the disposable kind. Um, I have this, it's some material that I don't know what's going to happen. It's like, um, it's like, um, what's that called? Nylon or something? I don't know. Okay. And then we, uh, my helper tore up some little pieces of paper right here. Okay. So do you want to use the nylon or have a wool sock? Which one do you want to use? Uh, this thing. Okay. So that's fine. So you, I washed it. Okay. So you take that and you rub that. And I'm going to rub this. So it's, I'm just going to rub it like this. Okay. That's good. Okay, now you take it near your pile, and I'm going to take mine near my pile. Whoop. Look at that. I think I should have chosen Yours didn't work? Let's see. Well, we just, we just guessed, right? We didn't know what would happen for sure. So you can try rubbing a plastic uh, knife like this, or a pen, or something, with different materials to see what will happen. Okay, rub it with that. Okay. And uh, so what, and if you take it near these pieces of paper, you'll notice that it'll pick them up. Uh, after a while, it won't pick them up. So what's happening here? Well, there you now working. it's working. Okay. So what do you think? Why do you think this picks up paper like that? Um, because it's some kind of. Look at that! They, they jumped static. up good. Some static. Stuff. When when you rub the the plastic with the wool, there's an interaction, and one of the objects gets excess negative charges, and the other one gets excess positive charges. Then why do you think if this is positively charged? Why do you think it picks up the paper? Because the paper's negative. That's a good guess, right. But the paper's actually neutral. It doesn't have any excess negative or positive. But when you get it near, when you get a, a positive near <laughs> neutral, oh, that one jumped off, do you see that? When you get a positive near neutral, the, the neutral has both positives and negatives in it. And so the negatives get closer and attract more and it attracts it. Now, did you notice that sometimes they pop off? Mm -hmm. That's because uh, once I touch it, then those become positive too, and they repel. Okay, charge it up. I'm going to show you one last cool thing. Okay, and just hold it. Don't don't touch anything. Anything. I'm going to do mine. Okay, now I'm going to hold mine like this. Let's see. Okay, now bring your tip near. Oops, it's spinning. Don't spin. Okay, bring the tip near the tip. Is that awesome? Okay, try it again. Uh -huh. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, you don't touch it. Just bring it near it. See, it repels. It, these are the same. These are the same charge. We did the same way, and like charges repel. Isn't that kind of like one side of the magnet doesn't go to one? It's kind of like that, magnet. right? But that's magnetic. That's magnet, not not electrostatics. I know, but it's okay. Kind of so, this is an experiment. This is something you can do at your home. You won't hurt yourself, right? Because it's a plastic knife. It's not going to cut you, right? You can use any plastic. Wow, you don't I'm have ready. to use wool. You can use, you could try it in your hair. You can try it in different things. Okay. Sometimes, if I rub it in one thing, it'll become positive and some will be negative. Yeah, so, it's sticking from my hair. If you try two different objects, you could get it to attract. That'd be pretty cool. But this is a, an experiment that you can try at home from my uh, book on physics with Angry Birds. But of course, you have to buy it first. Well, that's a good idea, hint, hint. right? Thank you, Ellie. Uh, and so the book is Angry Birds, Furious Forces. And thanks for watching. Peace out, Girl Scout.